What's up, Seven Out Craps here. Uh, we're gonna be focusing on the fours and the tens rolling, right? <coughs> Dice influence fours and tens. Oh, that's, we're gonna buy in for two hundred dollars, and we're gonna see what we can do with two hundred. One, two, three, four, five. Boom, boom. That's a hundred. We're gonna get some greens. One, two, three, four. Boom. All right, this is gonna be my on-off puck. Sorry, I'm gonna get one soon. All right, so what I like to do when I'm when I'm shooting for fours and tens, I like to get a Dewey don't. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna get a five dollar horn. Okay, horn protects the twelve in the pass line. So and if we hit eleven, we're good. So we're gonna shoot for the twelve, or we're gonna shoot for any horn number. But really, we like to say we're shooting for the 12 and we end up hitting other things. So here we go. Okay, six is the point, so we're gonna light the six up. Okay. We're gonna get a $25 four, $25 10, and we're gonna get a $10 eight. But we're gonna have to buy the four so we can buy it and get paid double. One, two, three, four, five. By the four and the ten. Now we're shooting for the ten and the four. Okay? And we have to make these dice hit the ten or the four. Here we go. There's one. That's the four. Okay? You gotta make sure your arc is good. So we throw a dollar for fifty. Throw a dollar for fifty. Practice is key. If you're missing, why are you missing? Find a way to fix it ASAP. Just because you set the dice doesn't mean you're gonna make it. You have to make sure you're doing what you need to do to hit it. Okay, nine. Since we did hit a four, I'll get a $10 nine here. Okay, nine. Nine. There is a fine line between tens and sevens. Nine, okay. A dollar for 15. Now we're gonna save, we'll get $10 odds on this six. But we're gonna save that dollar because we're gonna hit that four again. going to pay 11 which is good get another dollar he's going to pay 11 nine he's going to pay 14 we'll go ahead and get some ones 14 and we'll press that nine up a unit. So that's gonna pay us 21 next. Six, winner, okay? So what happens? Push right here, but we get paid $12 in the back for our odds. $12 in the back. Boom. Stack that up, rack that up. Buy all the horn. Puck comes down. We're looking for a new point. We're shooting for horn numbers right here. Just strategize. Okay? We gotta hit this horn number. Oh. Seven. Five deuce. So we lose the horn. Everything's good. Just back up on the horn. Oh well. I need to cry over spill milk. There it is. There it is. That's that feel, bro. 15, find it. Okay, it's gonna pay 15. That's a push here. So we got our five back plus 10. Let's try to go again. Right? That's it. You gotta find that feel. 11, you gotta find that feel. Can y'all see that? 6'5. 
right there, 6'5". Gonna pay another 15. If you don't, if you stop practicing for a while, you'll lose that feeling and you'll try to come back and you're like, what's going on, okay? Keep up the good work. We almost hit a 12. One more rotation this way, that's the 12. But the 10 is the point now. So we come down off the 10, rack that up. Okay, we'll get $10 odds. We lose the horn. And we're gonna be shooting for the four and the 10. Okay. Eight. It's gonna pay 11. Six to eight is gonna pay 11. We'll go ahead and go to 15, that's gonna pay 17. We hit another eight. I'm gonna put more odds behind. <sighs> 10, winner. Okay, so this is a push here, but we get paid double in the back. Get paid boom, boom, boom. All right, so five dollar horn. We're shooting for fours, we're focusing on fours and tens, but eights and nines do come out of this. Puck off, we get the six, four, ten point down. Got a five dollar horn. Now we're shooting for the horn. Try to hit another 11 or three. Eight, we keep getting the sixes on top. Eight is the point. We'll get a $15 six, why not? Lose the horn, back up on the 10. By the 10. And sometimes when you get on this dice, it's like you can't lose. 12, we finally hit the 12, but nobody's in there. Okay, let's get a $10 fill just for the heck of it. Dice split, though. The dice split again. The dice freaking split on me. I hate that. Every time. Every time those dice do that, it's a seven. Every single time, dude. It's a bad feeling. All right, no, no need to cry, to cry over spilled milk. We'll try again. I need to hold these dice tighter, bro. Snake eyes. Okay, that's beautiful. That's what I, my problem. I'm not gripping the dice like I'm supposed to. So, in this situation, it's beautiful. We get paid 33 free dollars because we don't lose on the pass like we would on the 12. So we get paid $33 and rack it up. Grip these dice correctly. Grip is everything. Just like King Dice said, bro. Grip is everything. I'm like, what's going on? R6. Okay, light the six up. We got a free buy-in for the 10. Off that horn, off that snake eye, so. So, we buy the 10 and the four for 25. Let's get a $26 eight that's gonna pay 30. Man, don't be scared to group these dice because shit. 12. This is your money you're playing with. You want, you want these dice to stay together, you don't want them to break off. Oh, 10. Okay, six four, it's a dollar for 50. 
I don't press until I get in a good rhythm. But we got our money back for the four and 10. We got $50 back, right? So we're just missing the eight money. You hit another four or 10, we get our eight money. Then you can start pressing from there. With this dice set, if you happen, we hit the five. We'll get a ten dollar five, okay? We're doing, we're not, we're not doing too bad. We'll get a ten dollar nine for everything, just, in, just so we don't waste rolls. Think about shooting for the, the ten or the four, and you don't hit the seven. You're gonna hit a, a, a either a four or some other nice number. Six winner, but we don't have any. I hate that. R6 winner, okay, cool. $5 horn, shooting for the 12. Okay, I gotta grip these dice. And I really think that's the secret. Whenever um, you're setting it, squeeze them together, but don't let them see you. You gotta do it with your hand, like really, pinch these and squeeze them to where whenever you're done with it you can let it go and they're still they're still mushed mashed together i'm telling you every time they whenever i go like this to release and they kind of split like this i don't know they split it's a seven every time i hate it oh we lose the horn so when we set it then push them together. Eight, winner. Okay, we're hitting a bunch of stuff. We're not getting money on that. We're not making any money on that. Five dollar horn. Okay. Point of five. All right. We'll just get a ten dollar eight, and we'll press every time. Ten dollars odds will pay fifteen in the bet. Split again, dude. Oh my god, that was scary. So we hit a four, okay? One, three, four. So boom. One for 50. Alright. Now we hit it again, then we press. right here but we get paid fifteen dollars in odds okay puck comes down we'll get a five dollar horn remember we started with two hundred dollars we're gonna go one more round and we'll see where we're at Back up on the horn. You know what? We're not even gonna do that since we're doing so good. We're our protection is good now. We're gonna do fifteen dollar pass, three to one. Okay, I like that. Three to one. Okay, three dollars, fifteen dollars on the pass, five dollars on the horn. Three is a push. Anything else is a win. As far as horns go. Okay, back up on the five. I think we have enough money behind the five. We're good until we hit a place bet. Now we're trying to hit fours and tens. And that's what I noticed. I'm telling, telling you, whenever you push these dice together, 
I was tending to roll a lot longer. Boom, immediately hit a 10. All right, so we'll get one for 50 and we'll go up. Okay, we'll take this down, but we're gonna buy it for 50, okay? So now it's $2 every time we hit the 10. Every time we hit the 10, it's 50. And this is the part where I can't seem to get it over my head because now I know I have $50 on that 10 and I know that dang seven's near. And it just pisses me off that I will lose that. Like it just, it really does. <sighs> See, that's not good. Cause where I'm from bro, people do not roll more than five rolls. It's always five rolls and out. Eight, that's gonna be 11. We're gonna press it to 15. We'll go ahead and get $10 odds behind that five. You know, so like, if you know people are gonna roll five and out, it's just like, why would you keep your money up there? Like, I can literally take it down and I'd be up so much, but then I have so much more potential. See, seven out. I'm done now. We just missed out on a whole bunch. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, about $150, bro. I could have took home and turned off and that seven hit. But we started with 200. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're only up 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70. We're only up 70, but we could have been up 220 if I would have took all my money down. Tip for the dealer, and you out of here. This is profit right here. But, you know, fours and tens are tricky. So, like, you hit a four or ten twice, I would just say come down. All right, let's just try one more thing before I go. I'm going to see if I can just, like, set it on the ten and just roll it kind of hard. Okay, that's a nine. So I watched this one dude, he was kind of rolling them hard and he was hitting good points. But that's a seven, no, it's not gonna work. I don't know. Subscribe to the channel, thank you for watching. Um, that's dice, you know, influence for fours and tens. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna order some new dice too to see where I'm at with that. Thank you for watching. See y'all next video.